Hello everyone, today we're going to introduce a unique follow focus specially designed for gimbals, the Nebula Focus. Let's start with the box. This hard case protects the Nebula Focus against rain and humidity. There is also a strap, so you can conveniently carry it like a bag. Now let's open the box. and we can see two focus rings on the top, a charger, two USB data wires, and two setup units. This is the hot shoe setup unit, and this is the slide setup unit, providing two ways to set up the Nebula Focus onto your camera. There is also a hex wrench in the box, which you can use to set the connection unit onto the remote. And here you can see the main modules, the remote controller, and the follow focus controller. Now I'm holding the Nebula Focus. It's small but powerful, combining the receiver, motor, battery, and distance measurement in one little body. Remember, there are only two parts, the follow focus controller and the remote controller. It's also easy to operate. Hold down the two power buttons at the same time for three seconds. The follow focus is successfully powered on if the indicator on the controller blinks from fast to slow and the screen of the remote lights up. After turning on, they will automatically pair up. Just wait about three seconds and then you can use the remote to adjust the follow focus. If the remote cannot be paired with the follow focus, hold down the power buttons to turn off both the remote and the follow focus. Turn on the follow focus, and hold down the menu button on the remote for about five seconds. While pressing the menu button, press and hold the power button. If the screen lights up, you can release all the buttons, and the two modules will be paired again. Both the remote and follow focus have built-in batteries. When the battery runs out, you can charge it with the data wires and the charger in the box. There are two USB ports for you to charge the equipment together. Just connect the equipment with the data wire and the charger, and it will start charging. The indicator will start blinking when charging, and it will stop blinking when the battery is fully charged. When the remote is charging, you can see the battery icon on the screen change, and it will show the whole battery when it's fully charged. Complete charging time is about 40 minutes, and the battery life is about 6 hours. And you can also use the equipment while charging the battery. Now let's talk about the interface on the remote. You can see there is an OLED screen on the remote, which shows basic information. Here, the signal on the left corner is the signal strength between the remote and the follow focus. The signal can be transmitted through Bluetooth within a 10 meter range. Mostly, it supports instant remote control within that range. In the middle of the screen is the speed. As I mentioned, the battery shows the power of the remote. The number below the battery is the voltage of the follow focus. Please note that if the voltage is lower than 3.5, it means the follow focus will enter a low voltage status. When the figure is lower than three, the follow focus will stop working. The number next to the voltage is the figure of the ultrasonic distance measurement. According to this number, you can determine the distance between yourself and the object. The bar and the number on the bottom of the screen show the turns of the thumb wheel on the remote to help you remember the focus point. The thumb wheel is under the screen of the remote. Just roll the wheel to control the motor on the follow focus. The red button is the record button. 
It can control your Sony or Canon camera to start or stop recording. The menu button is in the middle. Hold and press the menu button to enter the menu. The power button is on the side. For turning the remote on or off and setting memory points, I'll introduce them in detail. Now I'm holding the remote controller. We provide a connection unit for the remote. You can use it to set your remote through a one-quarter screw. There are different ways to mount it on your gimbal or onto other equipment. For example, you can connect it onto the Nebula series or simply hold it in your hand to complete all the operations without an assistant and achieve individual shooting. As this is a unique follow focus specially designed for stabilizers, we built in some great features suitable for using with gimbals. First of all, it supports hot shoe setup. Here is the hot shoe setup unit. You can see a hot shoe slot on the bottom for quick setup. And there is a dovetail slot for connecting the follow focus. Simply mount it onto the hot shoe and adjust the position, engage the gear and fasten the buckles and the setup is complete. And if you don't usually change your setup, once you confirm the position of the follow focus, you don't have to adjust a lot for the next time. Mount it right onto the camera, match the gear and setup is complete. See? just a few seconds to prepare. We leave plenty of space for the follow focus when we designed the model to support different cameras and lenses. We also provide two focus rings for users to add on to their own lenses, since some lenses don't have focus gear. Just fasten the focus ring and trim the rest off. It will be compatible with the follow focus. Another concern is whether your lenses are too short or long, or if the hot shoe of your camera is not facing the same direction as the lens. You may not wish to use the hot shoe setup unit with those cameras and lenses. Instead, use the slide setup unit. Connect the follow focus with the slide setup unit, or connect it with a cage, then mount it onto the rod. Here is the follow focus, and you can see there is a dovetail joint on the back of the follow focus. Just connect the follow focus into the dovetail slot of the unit. We use the Sony A7R2 as an example, with the Samyang 35mm f1.5 lens. Let's set up the camera, then adjust the follow focus, and engage the gear. Then you can operate the follow focus while shooting. Before you mount the follow focus, please adjust your lens to the nearest focus point. Let's treat this as the beginning point, a limit point. And then it will be easy for you to find another limit point, the end point. As we know, different lenses have different focusing distances. Before we use the follow focus, we had better test how many turns of the thumb wheel we need to adjust the focus from the nearest point to the furthest point of the lens. We take this Samyang 35mm f1.5 as an example. From the nearest point to infinity takes about two turns of the wheel 
as you can see from the screen. Please press and hold the menu button for two seconds and find the limit option, set the value to two, click the menu button to save, and click the power button to go back to the main interface, and you've successfully set the limit. This operation will help you clearly find the position of the focusing ring, making the focus more accurate. If you're worried about noise, you can hear it is almost quiet when the motor is running. It won't interfere with your recording while shooting. The Nebula Focus has a useful function, ultrasonic distance measurement. The eyes on the follow focus will transmit ultrasonically to the shooting object. The signal will be reflected to the follow focus to measure the distance between you and your shooting object and display on the screen. One thing you should watch for is if your lens is too long or too high, as this may block the signal before it gets to the shooting object. You may have to elevate the follow focus to avoid the lens and accurately measure the distance. Another thing is that there is still a short distance from the CMOS of the camera to the ultrasonic transmitter. Thus, we have to measure this short distance and add it to get the whole actual distance. You can set this short distance as an offset. The camera we use here has a 9 centimeter distance from the CMOS to the transmitter. Now we press and hold the menu button for two seconds and find the offset option. Then set the value to 9, 0 0.09 meter. And click the menu button to save. Then click the power button to go back to the main interface. Now the whole actual distance will show on the screen to help you easily find the focus. Nebula Focus also has a memory point set function. When you are using the Nebula Focus, you can just click the menu button once, and the follow focus will automatically reset to the beginning point. You can still set another memory point. Just click the power button once to record the point A. Click the power button twice to record the point B. Now you have two memory points. Click the menu button once, the follow focus automatically adjusts to point A. Click the menu button twice. The follow focus automatically adjusts to point B. But once you record a certain point, it will replace the beginning point in the memory. You can reboot the follow focus to reset the memory point. The speed of the follow focus is also adjustable. Press and hold the menu button to enter the menu to find the curve option. You can choose quick speed, medium speed, or slow speed as needed. Click the menu button to save, and click the power button to go back to the main interface. Try it and feel which speed is suitable for you. The follow focus controller only weighs 180 grams, 6 ounces. The lightweight making it a great partner for the stabilizer. Actually, it won't interfere with the gimbal's operation. Now let's set it up. Next, I want to talk about the infrared function. When we designed this model, we positioned its infrared transmitter directly facing the receiver of the camera. We can use this function to control the camera to start or stop recording. Now, it doesn't need any reflector. Just click the record button and the camera will start or stop recording. First, turn your camera on and make sure that the remote recording mode is on. Then click the record button on the remote here, this red button. The camera will receive the infrared signal, then it will start recording. 
Now the screen says STBY, meaning it is standing by, and we click the record button once. See, it starts recording. Click again. It stops recording. It's very easy for you to just use your thumb to control the camera and remotely control the follow focus. However, the infrared function so far only supports Sony and Canon cameras. Please press and hold the menu button for two seconds, then enter the menu interface and find the camera option. Choose your camera model and click the menu to save, and then click the power button to go back to the main interface. Again, don't forget to set your camera into remote recording mode before you use this function. Future developments include an app on your phone to remotely control the follow focus. It will be coming soon. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about our product, you're welcome to leave a message or contact us through email. We will answer you ASAP. Thanks again. See you next time.